Well, good day, everybody. Um, we've got some hackery going on here. I've broken out the um, heat proof. It's, you can't see the pattern on it, but it's heat proof woven insulation. Um, I think it's coated in silicon or something, too. Um, so, a bit of hackery going on, like I said. Um, that thing, the red XL, had air conditioning, this blue one doesn't. I've I'm going to keep the system out of it, but I can't really be screwed putting it on, so... Um, the one that doesn't have aircon has only a fan here, but not one here. Because I decided that's a wank of an idea, and because it actually comes with the wiring for that fan, okay, it was just cable tied up down there, it even comes with the wiring to the relay. So what I decided to do was basically splice and you can just sort of see it there I decided to splice um, the engine fan um, trigger to the um, to trigger the relay for the um, second fan so so when the um, when the cooling fan comes on this will come on as well they got me butane bunning special out so yeah, actually, if you don't have one of those, you probably should get one. They're from Bunnings, and they're about 30 bucks. Fantastic. Now, it's a lot better than lugging extension leads out just to do a job. And 12-volt soldering irons are useless, too. So, yeah, let's get this happening and see what else uh, we can do. show you the finished job, but I pulled the two trigger wires out of the aircon relay, and the, the reason I did that was simple, because I don't know what the hell it's connected to. Um... The meter shows me ground on both these cables, and I don't know what's on the other end. So I just pulled them out. They weren't doing anything because there was no relay there because it's not got aircon. So yeah, I'm going to uh, proceed and get it all finished and looking neat. This is my way of, you know, I, I just prefer to do this because I think insulating tape looks like shit. Okay, if you do it properly, it's all right. But um, you know, this just looks neater. And heat shrink, I don't really like it because you've got to get out flames and shit. Yes, I realise that's got a flame on it, but I just can't really be screwed with um, heat shrink. I just prefer this stuff. That way, if you've ever got to, you know, reinstate these cables, you know, to go to the relay for the aircon, you just cut through the cable ties, pull off the, um, the tubing there, insulation tubing, and Bob's your uncle. So, just, you know, be neat when you modify things, because, okay, it's obvious it's not factory, but... People aren't going to go, oh, which dickhead did that? Because I do that when I look at cars that people have been working on. If it's neat, if it's not neat and tidy, I, and it's you know rough as guts, I always think, oh, what dickhead did that? And my instant reaction is to get out the side cutters and just top it out and do it again. Um, yeah. So let's see. Well, this is the finished result. I started putting that wrap around it. Then I realised there's no bloody point because, you know, you're not getting anything sticking through anyway. I'll push that wire out of the way. So that's what I was working on. These two, um, that's obviously um, positive, which is the yellow wire from probably the ECU, and the black wire, which is ground. And yeah, I do realise that connecting the coils of the two relays um, in parallel with each other will halve the resistance but it's not going to be a problem they're very high resistance relays anyway and the ECU would allow for obviously it would allow for more than just one relay on the same circuit in parallel because as if you're going to put in a transistor that's um, only going to switch one at a time so thanks for watching guys well, as you can hear both fans are on that one of air being sucked in, I can feel it going past my hand. Yeah, lots and lots of air. Practically guaranteed that, you know, like, whatever, whatever condition the engine operates under, there's a huge temperature difference between the top and the bottom one. Cooling fans in this run for quite a long period of time, but if you've got an X3XL, I suggest you pop down to the wreckers, modify the fuse box, relay.
always, you know, the way I showed you in the video. And all you're doing is taking a feed from... All you're doing is taking a feed from radiator fan relay trigger to that relay there. You'll have to get one of those relays. And all, you, all it is, is a, it's just a separate fan that bolts on. All you have to do is bolt the fan on. You can see one of the bolts there? There are four bolts. Just that fan sits there. Yes? And um, the connector for it's actually it's actually there from standard. So all the wiring's there. You just cut through the cable tie, and it's under this intake, but it just plugs in, just like standard. So if anyone opens the bonnet, they'll never see any modification. If you do it properly, it'll look neat, it'll be reliable, and no matter how hot it is outside, um, that pipe's not even warm to the touch. Basically, just lukewarm. The top one's obviously hot, so it's a very worthwhile modification. If you can get extra cooling out of your car, yeah. There's also it's a heated throttle body. Now I'm going to get rid of that simply because we're in Australia. It never snows here. It's not really very necessary to warm the throttle body up, and we should get slightly better economy if we can keep the intake inlet air um, cool. Um, cooler air is more dense because the air molecules are smaller, so you get more a greater number of molecules of air per cubic meter of air. The hotter the air is, the fewer the number of molecules of air because they're larger and they take up more room. They expand when they get hot. So what happens is you end up um, injecting less fuel because there's less air. Um, these are a closed loop um, system. They have an O2 sensor or oxygen sensor, if you like. So yeah, keep your keep your air inlet cool. It's got a really nice, you know, intake there. Could be larger, but you know, um, it's a reasonable intake. Um, but it's got a heated throttle body. Now, if you're in a part of the world where it snows, I suggest you leave it alone and don't touch it because it probably won't pass the emission test if you modify it to be an, a cold throttle body. But Australian um, designed cars generally are not heated induction tracked cars. Like, you know, some of them have a manifold that's got coolant running through it. But yeah, I'm just going to get rid of that because it's not necessary for Australia. It never gets that cold here anyway. Cooling fans run a really long time. I don't know whether it's on a timer or what, but anyway, um, never going to overheat. The air's not. The air's only just warm. So thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, now I can upload the video now that I've actually finished it.